Amory Rose, there you are. Come, uh, Amis, Amor, Amorisak is why it also waits. The Alliance officers of the platform should be able to appraise us of any developments at the wall. Hi, gang. Don't worry, Alpha No, we'll, still, uh, we'll have the griffin by the scruff of the neck before you know it. Do make up your mind, Eda. Nary a moment ago, you seemed ready to shake the griffin by the hand rather than the neck. So which is it to be? Twas be best to decide before we enter into negotiations. Trust me, Pavolimo. I'll shake whatever needs shaking. The talking part, I leave to you. Greetings, my friend. Ah, oh, Pippin! Tis good to see you both well. I was hoping you might turn up. <gasps> Hilda! I've dragged half of the watch here, see, and the sight of you help um, might help remind him why we're bothered. Speaking of which, what's the news from the wall? All has been quiet. Oh, you jinxed it. You jinxed it! Oh, shit. Report. What? Seven hells. Fighting has broken out on top of the wall. A full-scale assault. Look. So the griffin has made his move. Someone has. The attackers, they, they're wearing Grand Company colours. Impossible. We gave no such order. Of course. The wall was never the griffin's target. It was bait. We have been goaded, in, goaded into deploying our armies nearby, thus lending weight to this deception. This could mean more. For fuck's sake. Because of course... Holy shit. This is not good. Forward, comrades. The time has come to drive the Empire from Alamigo and force action upon those who have turned their backs to our suffering for so long. Let this victory be the first step in the liberation of our homeland. Oh my god. Ah! I pressed the heal button! Ellen dead. And deceased. And again. I'm sorry. Chilling on the floor again. When am I not? Look, sometimes I just need a nap, okay? Sometimes I just need a nap to recuperate, recuperate my... I can't even say the word, but you know what I mean. Just feel better, you know? Floor tanking, exactly. The floor needs expecting. Yeah, like I needed to check out it was comfy enough to sleep. And then I just got really tired and had a nap. Simple, you know? It happens. Do you guys do that? She's a cat? Exactly. Like, I don't think you guys realize... I can't sleep anywhere. I really look, I I believe, right, I need a petition that we get, we get for the, the Makotes, we deserve, we deserve a cat in a box emote. We deserve an emote where we can just jump in a box. I'm advocating for this. Or a loaf, yeah. Box mount. <gasps> yes. Yes, that is genius. Oh god. I'm actually so upset. Are you kidding me? This I'm so upset cuz I used to I <laughs> fuck's sake <laughs> is this my entire chat now for the rest of this fight yeah yeah <laughs> oh. <laughs> no rip healer fuck come on gang you've got this i have faith come on i up him two percent come on i up him come on i up him i up him Come on! Come on! LB, LB! Come on! Let's fucking go, Aorfim! Let's fucking go! You smashed it! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! You fucking smashed that. Let's go! Fucked him up! <laughs> Sloppy, right? Yeah, fuck you. You've beaten me, I. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sucks to suck, doesn't it, bitch? Sucks to suck. But you cannot stop what I've begun. Behold! A glimpse of things to come! Oh, yikes. We did it! We showed the bastards! This is for Alamigo, for Eodia. What are you doing? 
they die that others may live. What are you doing? Vanguards! Attack! What are you doing? Seven hells. Do you hear that? Jeez. Jeez. There you are. Hello. As you can see, our infiltrators did not elude me for long. Lady Ugiri is sending for an airship even oh, as we speak. Amazing. What do we do? This is a massacre! This has to end. It has to end now. Do you not see your countrymen dying? Have your ideals rendered you blind even to that? Order the retreat, and we will help your soldiers to safety. Retreat? With the moment of my triumph so close at hand, you truly are a sheltered child, Leverier. <sighs> Nidhogg's eyes. No abyss is too deep for you, I see. But trust me when I say that such power was not meant for mortal hands. How long have I struggled to reach this point? My countrymen, so inured to the taste of defeat, they no longer balk at its bitterness, shouting my throat raw with rallying cries, only to be greeted with dull eyes and blank faces. My brothers and sisters in Ulda have surrendered to their apathy and their appetites. Were it not for the glint of Lodorito's coin, I doubt even those here now would have answered my call. Take back our homeland! Free Alamigo! Ha! They'll happily mouth the words, but they won't spill the blood. You say no mortal should wield these eyes? Then I shall gladly become a demon. I will suckle on the souls of the hopeless and liberate the homeland they no longer deserve. Oh, but are you okay? What do you... exactly do you mean to do? Do you... Did you hear their cries as victory was snatched away from them? Even with their dying breath, they cursed the Empire. Just... Never Chill. has their desire for vengeance Please. been so raw, so true. A god has no need of faith when summoned by so pure a purpose. You cannot mean to fight the Empire with a primal. You know full well the danger, the futility of relying on such power. What? Here? Now? <sighs> this man. It's kind of moved. <laughs> like hell you will. Either I swear to God. Please. An ending to mark a new beginning. My pain, my longing, you shall have it all! <laughs> oh my fucking god, my dude. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. This is horrific. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is awful. My collapse zone. Oh. oh, I hate this. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my 
can't let me use it though. No, why is it the song? Oh, it's the song. No, it's the song. <laughs> This light, is it? His death completed the ritual. The primal is taking shape. Fuck. Great. Well, can't we stop it? There must be something we can do! There is one thing. What? Hey! Where do you think you're going? Master Louis Soir briefly contained Bahamut by means of a potent spell of sealing. I will now attempt to do the same. <sighs> but, but that's impossible! We would need hours to collect the necessary ether. I swear if to God, he... No. No, 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 no. Ah, Alphino, though I concede it may not always be apparent, I was ever your grandsire's finest pupil. Don't you dare, Pavolimo! I know how that spell works. Quite right. Quickly now, off you go. The further away, the better. No! If you're saying, then so am I. Take her! Please, you have to take her! This is one battle you cannot fight. Away with you. Go! I hate this. Please don't. <laughs> oh my god, why? <laughs> We're staying. You don't want to leave, then don't leave. I'm not leaving his side. Why would you give me the choice? Why would you give me the choice? Why would you know? <laughs> Why would you give me the choice? I bid thee farewell no, again. No, don't do this dear. to me. Don't you dare. Now, let us see how good a student I truly was. Uh, not all others are bad, there is one good Lana. <laughs> oh, look at the sky, I'm trying to see. Oh. <laughs> Guys! <laughs> I'm scared to talk to Ida. I'm scared to talk to her. <laughs> or not so fun fact, they had to change the title you got for finishing this match because it was originally probably Miss Final Weezy. That hurts! <laughs> Ugh. Babalimo knew what he was doing. I could not refuse him. I don't want to talk to her because it's going to be bad. <laughs> Why? 
gone. Why didn't they let me stay? Papa Lima was my friend. I should have been there with him. <sighs> you could see in his eyes, Ida. He knew what he was doing. What had to be done. <laughs> Master Louis Soir wore that same look right before the end. Stop, man! <laughs> Do you think I don't know that? I know all right, I know. There is nothing more you could have done. Ilbert caught us all off guard. Even Marie Rose was powerless to stop him. If you must blame someone, then blame me. Just promise that you will never forget what Papa Limo strove to protect or the lessons he tried to teach you. Don't, don't speak to me. <laughs> Once again, I find myself at a loss for words. But Thancred is right. We must return to the Rising Stones and appraise our companions of all of this. After measuring the cocoon's etheric concentrations, Archon Yishtola has confirmed the presence of a primal entity. Veterans of Kartano, meanwhile, likened the destruction to that wrought by the fiery wrath of Bahamut. We could face another calamity. <sighs> Fun. Love that. Hello. Is this truly so complex a puzzle? Or have you no stomach for the obvious solution? Oh, for God's sake. Appreciate I thought he was just like some drunk guy for a minute. <laughs> Not gonna lie. <laughs> Who is this man? Oh, God. <laughs> well. Oh, how terrifically rude of me. Nero Tolskeva, former Tribunus of the 14th Legion of the Garlean Empire. These days, however, one might say that I'm something of a free agent. Have you a better solution? Or do you mean to send in your vaunted hero there, as you always do, and pray the world is not engulfed in flame? I mean, look, I manage to do well all the time, okay? We manage. <sighs> what say you? Do we take this villain at his word? Don't ask me. Don't ask me. Don't you dare ask me. Fuck off. Stop giving me options because I don't make good decisions. Why would you give me the choice? No, but I keep an eye on him. <laughs> if I am not mistaken, Doma occupies a similarly neutral position. Might we not persuade you to join the expedition, Lady Yugiri? If you suspected any foul play from Nero, you would be welcome to kill him. <laughs> Oh, what a perfect a suggestion. She's like, My sure. Blade is yours. I love her so much. <laughs> not I love a moment's her. <laughs> Literally. You'll forgive me if I do not shake your hand. <laughs> oh, I love her so much. <laughs> Truly iconic. Queen shit. Look at him. <laughs> Marie Rose, wait! No! Ah! Can I speak to you for a moment? Do you remember when I had you meet me at the Diamond Forge and we, uh, ambushed you? <laughs> well, once we had your measurements, I set to work making you a travelling outfit in my spare time. I've only just this moment finished the stitching, but I wanted you to have it before you left. Here. You can try it on right now if you like. I love her so much. I love her. <laughs> oh my god, that looks so cute. I sewed in a blood pearl charm to, you know, bring you home. May it always protect you. Stop, you're gonna make me cry. I love you so much. Look, 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 look what I did. Thank you. How dare he mock the scions like that? If I ever had to sew a set of travelling clothes for him, I might just forget to take out the pins. I love you so much. I love you so much. Why is it that Ida is the only person that hasn't got new outfits? A new outfit yet? Ah, uh, you ready for a great Heaven's Word send off mission? No, I'm not ready. Oh, no, I'm stressed. I'm stressed. I'm stressed. I'm stressed. Okay. Here we go. I'm scared. <laughs> 
I've enabled the teleporter. One brief jump and we shall arrive in Omega's control room. Searching for something, engineer? Something big? It's close, isn't it? <laughs> it's like all my name days have come at once. I am Gorsetsu, Samurai of Doma. You will rue your choice of opponent this day. See the last of me, mark my words, it'll be you who bruised this day. Sure, my dude. Sure. Bye! Bye! sensors immediately detected the presence of the cocoon even at this distance they must have been set to scan for sources of energy exceeding certain magnitudes well i understood less than half of that <laughs> so my question to you is are we doing the right thing do you think What do I think? Hmm. Don't like this music. All right. Step aside, Sid. Is this the thing I need to press? I love her. Okay. I got scared for a second there. That's the one. Ooh. You gave too much for us to waste this chance, Papalimo. So this is for you. And me. Oh. <laughs> yes! Fly free, my pretty! Show us what you can do. The launch sequence has begun. Omega is loose. Oh, God. Holy fuck. My God! I do need to get these sneezes out.
Holy fuck. Omega has stopped transmitting. But that shouldn't be. I, I didn't engage the stasis system. And what does this signify? I have little understanding of these contrivances. The launch went exactly to plan, but all signals emanating from Omega have ceased. This may indicate any number of things, but we will need to join the Scions out in the field, if we are to ascertain which one. Right. I've ordered a malfunctioning beast to go to sleep. That should prevent any unfortunate mishaps. I suggest we make our way back to Gridania. Um, Omega destroyed the cocoon. What just... What just happened? Papalimo's spell is fading. It was bound to his ether, you see. And if the connection is broken... Does that mean... Did it just happen to Ida? I'm confused. We need to see what happened to ourselves uh, for ourselves and soon. Uh, okay. I think we're going to get the soon. I'm stressed. I am stressed. Okay. The battle raged on with no end in sight until both combatants were engulfed in a blinding flash of light. When the radiance faded, I saw the pair fall motionless from the sky, coming to rest somewhere on Alamegan soil. I will not speak for the rest, but to my eye, it seemed that each had landed a fatal blow upon the other. It would appear that the being uh, resembles a creature of Far Eastern legend, and we have found it convenient to refer to it as such. This Shinryu's fate, and indeed that of Omega, is yet unknown. We have, alas, no eyes on the, the Gurabanian uh, side of the border. Such reassurances do much to calm our fears, yet the relic's fate is but one of several concerns. Indeed, I humbly submit that by the time has uh, that the time has come for us to make contact with the resistance representatives in Gurabania. Though Wheelbird has forced our hand, it would seem only logical to seek an, an alliance, given the inevitability of Imperial retaliation. And by working in concert, it is not possible that Alamigo might be, uh, finally be wrested from Garlemald's grasp. Ida is there atop the spire. She has done naught but gaze silently at the wall for some time now. Where is Ida? Oh, Ida. My friends, I cannot well express how glad I am to see you both unharmed. They say that Omega's clash with the Primal shook the very firmament. You need not have worried. The battle took place far above the ground. We were able to observe in relative safety, though I'm given to understand that there were casualties on the far side of the wall. It was like watching a nightmare unfold before our very eyes. Ilbert's Primal manifested in the form of a colossal dragon. A being of pure violence. It burst forth from the cocoon with such terrible force. And how fares poor Ida in the midst of all this? Have you spoken with her? She is up on the platform, lost in thought. We deemed it best not to disturb her. But perhaps she would welcome some company after all. Shall we? <sighs> Three things that Ilbert won. I'm pissed off because he sucks. Little bitch. Reader. The light's gone. It was all we had left of him. Ida. I don't blame anyone. I knew what was going to happen. I knew the spell Papalimo meant to cast would drain away his life force. I knew that it would only buy us a little time. <gasps> Ida, there is no need to explain. The 
Oh my god. There is. I can't hide in Papalimo's little shadow anymore, and I shouldn't hide behind my sister's mask. She's so beautiful. <laughs> Twenty years ago, on the day the Empire marched into Alamigo, I was still just a child, not even five summers old. She's so beautiful. My father had been one of the leaders of the revolution. He had fought to overthrow the mad king, Theodoric. And my sister had fought alongside him. But she was strong and kind, and always knew what to do. But when the Garleans came, everything changed. My father went to war against them too. And I never saw him again. After that, I remember a lot of running. My sister dragged me for moms and moms until we came to the city of Charlian. That was where she met Master Louis Soir. He introduced her to the Circle of Knowing, and she eventually became an Archon. She was your inspiration. Is that not why you took up her mask and her name? Or did you simply mean to continue what she had started? You've known all along, haven't you? That I wasn't Eda. <sighs> of course. We all recognized you at once. It was Papalimo who persuaded us to maintain the charade. It was silly to think I could fool you. I knew that even then, but I... I sort of... decided not to know. Ida died six years ago, on a mission to smuggle refugees out of Alamigo. They say she was overwhelmed by Imperial soldiers when she stayed behind to save a little girl. She was so strong. There must have been a lot of them. <laughs> Getting emotional, man. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry for lying to you. My real name is Lise. When Papalimo brought me Eda's mask, it was meant as a keepsake, but... I decided I wanted to be his new partner. To keep alive all the good that she had done. I didn't want to become Eda, exactly. At the time, though, I still didn't know who I was myself. And it almost seemed easier to play the role. Stop. <laughs> Papalimo agreed to help, of course. But it was never what he wanted for me. He wanted me to walk my own path. And those were his final words to me. <gasps> the Archon's mark he gave me is faded, and my last Aww. excuse avoided it. So this is it. Whatever I choose to do from now on, I do as lease. And I choose to continue my family's fight. I want Alamigo to be the country that Ida and my father always wanted it to be. War is upon us once more. Do you regret standing against the Empire? Would you have chosen a different road, knowing what you know now? To claim that I never doubted the decision would be a lie. But I made my choice, and I have defended it with blade in hand ever since. The battle continues, and our steel is needed. Come, Shadow Walker. We leave for the east, for Dobber. Wait. Are we going to get to go there at some point? It was brave of Lisa to remove her mask after so long. Man, that really just... Oh. I don't know why that hit me so hard, man. I don't know, that hit me so hard. <laughs> oh, man. That was good. End of free trial, by the way. You did it, I did it. Congrats on fishing free trial. 
This is the calm before the storm. Lisa has chosen a path and as her friends, we must do what we can to support that choice. We are fated to join the conflict in any case. Once the Alliance has taken the wall and opened the way to Girobania, we will have little choice but to fight. Quick march, the Imperials will soon come to their senses and we must be ready to face their retribution. Very well, Ilbert. I will take our homeland back for the both of us. At the far edge of fate, the road begins anew. The heroes look to eastern skies and behold their crimson view. A dawn of liberation, a gathering storm of blood. Ugh.